Okay, so this video is a look at Street Fighter Bison Figure. I want to start off by saying I'm not a fan of the Street Fighter arcade game or any versions of it on consoles. I don't have anything against it, I'm just not a fan of beat em up games in general. But that doesn't stop Street Fighter from being an extremely popular game. So much so that they still make games under the name today. And in 1994, it even got a film adaptation. The Street Fighter film is a B-movie with a capital and underlined B. It's just about watchable thanks to Roll Hooley as Bison, even though it was his last film and he doesn't look well in this. Even considering this, he's still the best thing in the film, which isn't hard when the rest of the cast is made up of Jean-Claude Van Damme and the pop star Kylie Minogue. That's the main reason I got the Bison figure, as it's as close to a Roll Hooley figure as I can get even though it's based on the game rather than the film. But the film is based on the game, so it's all the same thing really. I'd been a fan of Ron Julia ever since his pitch perfect turn as Gomez in the Adams Family films. I think this is a good figure for a few other reasons too. It's a good chunky figure with interchangeable head and hands, and I think a blue punch effect. It also has a cloth cape, which I prefer over those horrible rubber capes. Another plus point is that the blister packaging has been made into an arcade games machine, with the joystick and buttons shown on the bottom there. There's two of them as beat em ups are usually two player games. I think that's a genius touch. They only did this for figures early on in their run, as later they packaged them in standard blister packs. like this Gile figure. I only know him as this is the part Jean-Claude Van Damme played in the film. Not that I wanted a figure of him, I just thought it looked like a good one. I'm not always a fan of novelty blister packaging. Take this for example. It's a Doctor Who figure and the blister has been made into the Doctor's TARDIS time machine. It looks good on display and in the shops, but it's a nightmare to store, as vertically and horizontally they won't fit on top of one another the way normal rectangle shaped blisters do. It was a good idea on the drawing board, but a big headache for collectors like me. So that's Bison from Sota Toys. Would I have got it if Ron Hulia hadn't played him in the film? Probably. When you've been collecting these things for a number of years like I have, you just know the good ones from the bad ones. And this is definitely a good one. Okay, so that was a look at a Street Fighter Bison figure, and hopefully you'll join me on another video sometime.